Hello, uh, my name is uh, Tina Shigota. I am a teaching assistant at the Faculty of Economics, University of Ljubljana. And today I will present the topic of resident support for tourism from the standpoint of the political environment uh, in the case of Plat, Slovenia. Uh, this research we did uh, in a team at the University of Ljubljana with Professor Tanja Mihalic, Ljubica knežević Svelbar, and uh, Kir Kuscher. Um, just a slight um, overview of the agenda. We will firstly go through the framework and found foundations for the research, um, then look at the purpose and the proposed theoretical model, the survey, how, it, uh, how the measurement instrument was done, uh, talk a little bit about the community of BLAD, uh, the results of the study and practical implications. Uh, firstly, uh, we found the uh, foundations of our study in the residence attitude research that uh, has been going on for more than uh, 30 years. Uh, and uh, the research was based on the tourism impacts, uh, which were expressed through the three horizons of sustainability, being the economic, sociocultural and, and environmental pillars. Um, but the baseline for that was the, uh, was the social exchange theory, uh, which implies that the better perception of impacts uh, generates higher satisfaction with tourism. So taking account in, into account uh, that, uh, we started to look into the resident support for tourism, uh, which we found that was mainly expressed through the assumption that positive attitudes mean positive support for tourism development. Um, and actually to get, get, get away from the assumptions, we decided to instrumentalize uh, the questions about the resident support in our study. Uh, but we wanted to um, focus on the political environment uh, where um, Others say that it's really identified as one of the pillars of sustainability and it's more frequently defined only as a necessary requirement for the implementation of sustainable strategies. Um, for us, we saw the political environment, including the informed and wide participation of all relevant stakeholders. In our case, these are the residents of the study community the consensus building over the implementation of the necessary preventive and or corrective measures in the community, which are based on the constant measurement of tourism impacts, and nonetheless the community power over influencing decision making, which implies the participation of the stakeholders in um, tourism planning and development. Um, therefore, we propose the theoretical model, which uh, takes into account the political environment itself um, to influence the socio-cultural environment, economic environment and natural environment being the three pillars of sustainable tourism theory to actually directly impact the satisfaction with tourism and further on the support for tourism in terms of uh, resonance. The purpose of the study was to test the connections between how residents perceive tourism impacts of the uh, on the sustainability pillars, the political environment and resident support, support for tourism development. Further on, we developed a measurement instrument that uh, was based on the literature review. These are only to mention but a few. And we submitted a pretest instrument to a panel of experts, research colleagues, and local government officials because we really tightly work with the municipality of our study community. Then the self-administered questionnaire was distributed to BLED's residents through local newspaper. Um, and um, since in the local newspapers uh, you can only print one questionnaire, we invited the residents to fulfill the questionnaire also online. Uh, from in the period of uh, 31st of January till the 2nd of April, we managed to get 329 valid questionnaires to include in the further analysis. Just to briefly describe the study community, uh, this, is, uh, the, this is the town and destination Blad, which has around 8,000 inhabitants and in the peak season there are 24,000 uh, 
tourists per inhabitant at the destination itself. Uh, the destination is ranked among top three destinations in Slovenia uh, because of its main attractions, which are Glacial Lake Bled, its Millennium Castle Bled, and the cream cake, some of the things that we can also see on the slides. Uh, it, the destination itself has been recognized uh, by the National Geographic Traveler and Food and Travel magazine in the UK and uh, also Lonely Planet. Uh, the castle itself um, hosts more than 200,000 visitors annually and uh, it hasn't reached its peak, so we are expecting this number to grow more. Um, and uh, the gr numbers grow during the summer, which is their prevailing, uh, prevailing seasonality period. Um, our sample, just the de demographic characteristics of our sample are here briefly described. Uh, the mean respondent's age was 47 years. Uh, but what was really surprising is that um, if you see the per personal employment in tourism, the family employment in tourism, and household benefit from tourism, we uh, in our sample we have people who actually do not have any economic benefits from tourism, nor does, does their household, uh, nor do they rent uh, the apartments. So uh, that was really surprising, and the answers are also surprising. Um, more about the results of the study. We did the structural equations model and we managed to prove that political environment itself does impact the socio-cultural environment, the nat natural environment, um, and further on the resident satisfaction with tourism. What we didn't uh, didn't manage to prove statistically and significant was that the political environment has any impact on economic environment. But um, as we can see from the model, the political environment, that means having informed residents, having uh, including um, the quality of life of residents in the strategy uh, in the tourism development does impact the satisfaction with tourism overall and generates the further support for tourism. Uh, just to briefly conclude with the practical implications, the contribution of this study was to add the political sustainability to the tra traditional sustainability pillar model when we studied the support for tourism development by the local residents. This is a novelty um, in the research, um, so it is also one implication for the further research. Um, the study is also an incentive for better understanding of residents' support for tourism development from the local community standpoint, and it's aimed at local uh, government officials. Um, but more importantly, um, from the Blatz community, as we can see, it is really important to emphasize the dimension of political environment itself um, and we can do that by increasing the level of support from, for tourism development by the local tourism organization, by increasing the involvement of local residents in tourism planning and nonetheless by prioritizing residents' interest in strategic development. Thank you very much. Thank you.